Good morning, Michael Fellers here for Deals TV on Business Spectator. It's Thursday, the 1st of October, and happy 60th birthday, China. And your present from Australia is a lot of trouble from the Foreign Investment Review Board, it seems. There's a lot of deals going through where Chinese companies are investing in Australia's mining assets, but not a lot of them are getting through to the final stages. Uh, recently, the FERB has asked uh, China Non-Ferrous Metals and Mining Company to go back to the drawing board and re-tender an offer for Linus Corporation. It was originally offering to take over 51.6% of the company, but now that deal is completely scrapped. Linus has, of course, gone and raised money on the capital markets uh, instead, of, uh, instead of accepting a, uh, uh, an equity agreement with a Chinese company. Uh, that has similar... Uh, parallels to what happened with Rio Tinto and Chinalco. Chinalco, of course, was uh, participating in a, in a rescue deal of Rio, uh, a rescue in the sense that uh, it was rescuing it from the clutches of BHP Billiton. But now, after a period of several months, uh, that deal's over and Rio has gone to the capital markets to raise equity there instead. Um, other deals which have fallen over are uh, uh, for Western Plains resources, uh, that deal fell over because the Department of Defence didn't want China uh, participating in a project on the Woomera prohibited area. And similarly, um, uh, China Min Metals uh, deal with uh, Oz Minerals fell over to a certain extent in regards to Prominent Hill, also in the Woomera protected area. So a few things happening there. Uh, China's also facing problems in Nigeria where rebels in the, uh, in the Niger Delta region have effectively warned it to get out of the country or face similar problems to what Shell, Royal Dutch Shell is experiencing there in terms of kidnappings, ransoms, terrorism and so forth. Um, meanwhile, uh, BHP and Rio Tinto also know a bit about sovereign risk in regards to Guinea. But uh, sovereign risk is all a matter of perception. Telstra is facing sovereign risk here in Australia with Senator Conroy's shock announcement of uh, Telstra's uh, choice between a forced split or a voluntary split. So it's all just, uh, it's all just a matter of perspective, isn't it? Um, moving on to happier things now. Uh, there's capital raising in the works for Galaxy Resources, Helmsec Securities and State One is helping that company raise $65 million for its lithium project. And Campbell Brothers is also expected to raise $196 million today, according to the Australian Financial Review. Uh, JP Morgan is believed to be behind that capital raising. And uh, Campbell Brothers is uh, apparently looking to expand beyond mineral assaying into uh, laboratory testing for food, for industry, for the environment and things like that. So expect some action there as well. Anyway, that's all we've got time for. I'll see you tomorrow.